Hello Dolphin users, this is one video demonstration of the DFLFRP for WD on the Windows 7 64-bit operating system. Make sure your operating system has the service one installed. The first step to install this tool is to connect your USB cable and the power cable to the PC. Go to the device manager. You will find under disk drives two channels, one PATA channel and the other is SATA channel. These two channels, your DFLFRP can work on two hard drives at the same time. Go to the other devices, you will find a known device. This unknown device is actually the DFLFRP device without the driver installed. And the other one is the COM port. Here, my COM driver has been installed. When the driver is not installed, you will find unknown COM port under the other devices too. Users can find within the installation folder. OK. Let's install the software first. Mm -hmm. Simply follow the steps. You don't need to launch DFLD at this time because the driver has not been installed. Click Finish. At this time, you can go to the DFLFRP installation folder. You can find the drivers here within the DFLFRP driver folder. Here is the de device drivers for 32 bit and 64 bit and here is the COM port drivers. For the Windows 7 64 bit, users can double click this one to install the drivers. So users just n just need to wait until the COM driver completes. Yeah wait until the installation of the driver completes then it will be okay so it's completed after the driver installation completes you can find the ports com port ap port lpt port under it you will find com4 okay actually for wd the com port is not used for the moment but Later, we may release the COM port and then users can use more functions by COM port. Okay, let's install the driver for the DFLFRP device. Update the driver software. Uh, let's find the DFLFRP device driver under the installation folder dfwd device driver 64 64-bit driver click next click install Actually, you cannot install the driver direct because the driver is not signed. You will one message. Just wait a moment.
Windows cannot verify this signature for drivers required for this device. So how to sign this driver? Okay. So you can find the DFL FRP device under the universal serial bus computers, but from this mark, you will see the driver is not installed properly. So you need to sign the driver. We need to use one program to sign the driver. Kay. Here is a digital signature driver sign signing program. Email test mode. Uh, sign a uh, system file. Next. Okay, here you can input the driver path to sign. Next, find the driver to sign. Uh, go to the Windows System 32. Drivers. Uh, find this DFO FRP driver here. We can let's see. Okay, we can copy this. Copy the driver name. Click OK. So after you click OK, you can sign. Okay, you can see the system file has been signed successfully. Restart your computer to apply the changes. You should be able to not load the file if test mode is enabled. So next. Exit next. Okay, so now we need to restart the PC, and then the driver will be installed correctly. Next, hello everyone. Let's continue the video. After we restart the PC, we can find. Under the Universal Serial Bus Controllers, the DFFRP device has been correctly recognized. So at this time, when you find two channels under the disk drives, when you find a common port installed successfully, and also the most important is the DFFRP device. Come up normally under the Universal Serial Bus Controllers. Then you can go to double-click the DFLWD2 icon on your desktop. Okay, you will get message. The device is not registered. Here is a path to create the registration file. Just to simply click create register. Okay. Next, you need to email this registration file to your sales representative or just email it directly to the sales at dolphindatalab.com. Then your job completes. After some time, you will get the reply from sales at dolphindatalab.com uh, and you will get one DAT file. After you get the DAT file, please put the DAT file within your DFL FRP for WD installation folder that is here. Put it here and then you can 
double click your DFLWD2 icon and start using the software correctly. Well, thank you for watching this video.